Have you ever stood on the jungle clad hilltops of Phuket or the sandy shores of Goa, looked out across the turquoise waters and wondered to yourself, what would this paradise have been like 30 years ago? And let me tell you about a place called Trindaji. To get there, it's a five hour bus ride from Rio to neighbouring Parachi and then another 45 minute bus journey to Trindaji. Beware that the only stretch of road into Trindaji is known by locals as Jesus Malibre, which translates to God Save Me. If you survive the journey, then you will be amazed to discover a landscape of seemingly untouched beauty. With only a handful of places to stay, I highly recommend checking out Kaisara Hostel. It's run by a former tour guide named George, who has created an amazing haven for travellers. This is George. Apart from jumping off stuff, George loves to share some of the beautiful treasures of the paradise that he calls home. Like this rock slide, which is just a 15 minute walk from the hostel into the rainforest. For the adventurous, there is also a little rock cave known as Pedro Cangoli, which translates to the rock that swallows. It is pretty safe and no one has ever been injured, uh, except for that incident with the poor English guy named Richie. George doesn't like me telling people about that. Now if you happen to be around for Carnival and are looking for a unique experience that you won't see in travel magazines, then head over to neighbouring Parachi for the Bloco de Lama. It's a parade that involves covering yourself from head to toe in mud before dancing in procession through the streets of Parachi. If you want to experience more of the natural beauty of Trindaji and its enchanting surrounds, then you should definitely try the half day trek to the small fishing village of Ponte Negro. Feel free to bring along a surfboard as you'll encounter some amazing beaches along the way, like Pride of Sana. Montenegro is a beautiful little fishing village where time seems to have slowed down. On most afternoons you will find locals enjoying a friendly game of football on the beach. And children can often be found casting their lines for a seemingly endless supply of fish. There are a number of places to stay, like this beautiful guest house overlooking the water. Bear in mind that the only electricity available in the village is via a handful of solar panels, but in paradise you'll find candles to be more suitable. The permanent population of Ponte Negro is around 140, and rumour has it that about 80 of these are children. You cannot help but wonder whether they are aware of the paradise that they are living in. The answer in their smiles tells me that it's irrelevant. Another way to return to Trindaji is by a boat ride which takes around one hour. It will provide an additional perspective on this wonderful stretch of coastline and offer the solace to reflect on all of your amazing experiences. Ah yeah, and you might be happy to know that we also found Richie.